We are back. Today is unfortunately a rest day. I know, it sucks. I actually hate, I, I don't like rest days. Like I know you need them and everything. And I know they're super crucial to building muscle and you need to recover. Like you just need to recover. I even know that. But when you love training so much, it's just, it's, it's hard not to go to the gym every day even though I know it's bad and you shouldn't really do that. So today we will be doing a full day of eating on a rest day. Also what I typically do in a rest day, I'm gonna be doing some active rest day stuff. I already actually went to the gym, so I actually lied to you 20 seconds before, maybe 30 seconds, but I lied to you because I did do fasted cardio this morning, just incline walking on the treadmill. Then I did some rounds of skipping so like jump rope with like an ab circuit so i kind of interchanged those two did some supersets of abs and then that was pretty much it i did that at like 6 a.m this morning but i will typically do that two to three times a week usually i will do it on my rest day and then like my back days because those days aren't the biggest priority for me right now i don't want to do cardio on legs because i'm focusing on leg development anyways that is not important. Usually, now I say usually because I have no clue how today's gonna be planned out. I follow if it fits your macros for the most part. So my meals, I don't have the same meal every single day, will probably be lower carb. And that's what I usually do on rest days. I will lower my carb intake because my activity isn't really as high. When I'm weight training, you're expending a lot of calories. You're burning a lot of calories when you're lifting super heavy. If you're trying to go heavy, that is. And yeah, so I'm rambling. I'm hungry. I want to eat this. We got three whole eggs, half a cup of egg whites, spinach, mushrooms, peppers, the usual. And I also have three slices of turkey breast in there. Sprinkle some pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, sugar-free ketchup. And that's meal uno one. That's all it is pretty much protein and fats. This is, there's maybe 10 net carbs in here, being from the spinach, the mushrooms, tomatoes, maybe some from the sugar-free ketchup, but I don't, I don't track vegetables really. Cause yeah, they're carbs and stuff, but they're vegetables, like they're good for you. So anyways, I'm gonna grub this. We got some errands to do. I'm wearing a hat again today but we are going to get a haircut because I need a damn haircut. I look like a bum. I'm just gonna shave it all off so I don't have to worry about it, but you gotta see this. Oh my God, oh, look at that. calories for this meal and the macros are right Bam! right there i'm gonna continue eating this now meal one done now i'm gonna get some work done and i will bring you guys with me when i go get a haircut because this do needs to be done all right i will see you guys well it'll be probably five seconds for you but it'll be an hour for me so peace so, um, really quickly before I go get my haircut, because I'm pretty sure that's what I said in the last clip. So let's hope I'm going for a haircut anyways, because this is my rest day and I'm not going to be expending a lot of calories in the gym. Like I said before, I still want to move. I still want to move a lot during the day. I'm going to be going for a walk later on. It's beautiful outside, even though it's only plus eight here in Canada. That's a lie, it's like minus five. But anyways, you wanna be moving. You wanna increase your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That is a mouthful, but AKA NEAT. So this is just the amount of calories that you're burning just by moving throughout the day. Like me holding the camera right here, I'm getting a nasty shoulder pump, but I'm actually burning calories because I'm twitching, I'm moving, I'm constantly doing little movements, right? Whenever you're working on your laptop or whatever you're doing, you're burning calories no matter what. So that's your neat. On rest days, this is lower because you're not you're not training in the gym, right? So you still wanna move. You still wanna get your legs going, you go for a walk, whatever, walk around the house, whatever you gotta do. So I need a haircut, let's do this. 
We are back. Hair done. No more cap. Thank God. I love doing my hair. I'm starving. I was only in there for like 20, 30 minutes, but as you saw at my last meal, I didn't really have any carbs at all. So I'm feeling the effects of that. I am really, I'm, I'm not tired, but I just, you, you feel the effects if you've ever gone like a low carb day or you just haven't had any carbs. So I'm going to get another meal in. I'm going to show you guys what I got. It's going to be a good meal and I'll see you guys in the next meal. Deuces. So, second meal of the day, my first actual meal with carbs. Usually on my rest days, I will decrease my calories if fat loss is my goal, considering I'm coming to the end of my mini cut. If you watched my previous full day of eating to get shredded, that was for my mini cut. So I'm coming to the end of that. So on my rest days, I will decrease my calories around 200 to 300 calories, mainly from carbohydrates. So like you saw in my previous meal, I didn't have any carbs. I think there was maybe five, maybe 10 carbs in that meal. But with this meal, we have 225 grams of sweet potato, 100 grams of broccoli, because broccoli is life. And you should be really eating your greens, no matter what. Again, volume, volume, volume. Also micronutrients. But then we have 190 grams of chicken breast with pepper, pink Himalayan salt, garlic, everything within this meal is fantastic in my opinion, but we also have mustard on the chicken breast, and then sugar-free ketchup again on the sweet potatoes. Usually I would have another type of sauce as well, but I'm trying to decrease my calories because it is rest day, right? So calories and the macros for this meal will be, bye. We're gonna eat this then i think because today is like an active rest day i'm gonna go for a walk and i'm going to get some editing done at the coffee shop so i'm gonna eat this then i will catch you guys on my walk bunch of white straight snow i don't know if you can see me or not because it's super bright but shut up bird like i said whenever you're resting or you plan on having like an active recovery day of some sort you want to always keep moving i always try and keep my keep my steps a little bit higher on rest days shut up but um birds are trying to talk to you they're trying to tell you that moving more during your rest days helps so listen to the birds anyways i'm gonna keep walking i shoot for 7,000 to 10,000 steps a day again i don't i'm usually in my house all the time i'm just working on my laptop or whatever editing whatever so i don't walk as much especially in canadian winters like i don't want to walk out in minus 30 degrees weather so just move all right keep moving your feet yeah Keep it going. Whee. So we are here, just grab my coffee, black coffee. Always, always black coffee. Got a bunch of work done at the coffee shop. Edited my next video, which will be going up tomorrow. But you guys don't know that, or this video will go up after. So you'll see it afterwards. Either way, we're gonna go catch the next meal. So I will see you at that next meal. Deuces.
What is up, y'all? We are back. Unreal walk, unreal coffee. For those of you asking, I usually have around one to two coffees a day, depending on if I take pre-workout as well, because that would be a lot of caffeine. Anyways, meal uno three of the day. I wouldn't even consider this a meal. I don't want to say it's a snack either, because the way I see snacks, it's like snacks as in bad food or it's a it's a snack it's something that's not a part of your regular meal plan or your meals or your diet or whatever but one frozen banana about a hundred grams of frozen strawberries then usually i'll put almond milk but i just put water then a scoop and a half of protein and i think that was pretty much it yeah that was pretty much it usually i will put frozen kale as well in here just to add some more greens, put some more micronutrients in there. And honestly, I like the taste a little bit more, but that's just me. Don't knock it till you try it. For this meal, the calories of this little meal will be right. Bam, right there. Pretty good calories, not too high in calories. I don't even know what I'm sitting at right now. It seems like I've barely had any food, but I've been working pretty much all day. And when I don't work out, I just try and bump out as much work as possible because sometimes the gym can get in the way because if I'm filming in the gym or the gym's busy or if I just want to have a good workout, it, it'll take between my warm up, actual workout, cool down, driving there and back. It's going to be two and a half to three hours. So like it just takes up a huge chunk of your day. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'll do it for the rest of my life, but that is that. And so we're going to finish this up. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like shakes. I can literally just toss it back down, like literally nothing. And then it seems like I didn't even have a meal. So I'm gonna drink this and I will see you at the next meal. Deuces. Just like that, see what I mean? I can finish it in like, that was five minutes. That was stupid. But anyways, by the way, if you guys have not seen my morning routine to get absolutely shredded yet, go watch that right now because that is a sick video and I love creating that. I appreciate you guys. And who's ever watching this video, none of this would be possible without you. So I appreciate you very much. There's going to be a lot of giveaways coming in the near future. I got a couple things planned. You might want to uh, you might want to stick around for that. So I will see you guys at the next meal. Deuces. This is our fourth meal, I believe fourth meal, I think. Either way, again, on rest days, I tend to lower my carb consumption. And you're probably thinking, oh, Brett, in your last full day of eating video, you have the exact same meal. Uh, you're wrong. I had rice in that meal. These are rice noodles. Again, I'm going for more volume because I want to feel full today. I'm thinking about food. I'm thinking about training pretty much all day. Really good meal. I have six ounces chicken, 100 grams of rice noodles, tomatoes, cucumber, mushrooms, chopped kale, salad, just a big salad mix, and 50 grams of avocado for some healthy fats, soy sauce, and hot sauce. So that'll be the whole meal. This will fill me up pretty much until my last meal, which will probably be around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Right now it's like 5.30, so I got a bunch of work to do. So I have to eat this really quickly go out, come back, and then I will eat that next meal. But taste test. Mm, it doesn't get much better, honestly. I think it tastes better with the rice noodles because it tastes like a Asian village, Japanese food. I don't know, whatever. It tastes really good. I enjoy it a lot. Guessing it'll be around 550, 600. I guess we'll see how much the calories are. Bye. That's pretty much it. So. I'm gonna eat this super quick. I gotta do some stuff, so I gotta get going here. And I will see you guys at meal number five. Two hours 
later. Favorite meal of the day. Again, if you have any cravings or you want something sweet, make some frozen yogurt, freeze it for a bit, like you just saw me do. I froze that for two, three hours. Then I put in 28 grams of almonds, 100 grams of frozen berries, one tablespoon of peanut butter, all mixed with one scoop of protein, 200 grams of Greek yogurt, then 100 grams of just a regular source yogurt for the volume. This is the last meal of the day. This is meal number five, I believe. I think it's five. I've been out for a while, so that is pretty much it. I haven't tallied up my calories just yet, but I know I'm for sure under the, the kind of calorie range that I want to be at. Normally, again, on my rest days, I will lower my carbohydrate consumption just because I'm not expending as many calories through resistance training, heavy training, or doing any type of hit intensity workout besides cardio, obviously. But again, that's just cardio. It's not that taxing on your body, depending on what cardio you're doing, obviously. But cardio I did today wasn't it wasn't anything special. So just be aware of that if fat loss is your main goal or if leaning down is your main goal, always think about how much activity you're gonna do during that day. Then base your eating habits or your meals or how many calories you're gonna have during that day based off your activity. For this, calories, bam, right there. And the total amount of calories for this day of eating on a rest day is rate, bam, right there. I honestly don't know what I'm at. I'm gonna have to tally it up after, but you just saw how much it was. Now, usually for my size, I'm 180 pound individual, I wouldn't, have 2,000 calories a day. I'm more around 2,500 to 2,700 if I'm if I'm cutting that is. And then I'll actually lower that every single two, three, maybe four weeks, depending on how much weight I'm losing week by week. I hope you guys learned something from this video. When you're doing your rest days, move more. Okay, decrease your carbs on your rest days if you're not doing any type of high intense cardio, high intense workout, whatever. Just alternatively, you got to move more throughout the day so that you're burning more calories even on a computer, walking around the house, cleaning the house, whatever you have to do, all right? So I appreciate you guys tuning into this one. Like the goddamn video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.